Open this one next, Lauren. <laughs> All right. My Christmas wish. Thank you, Daddy. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's just like the one that your mama had. Wow, it's magic. Shall we put it on the tree? Yes, up on top to watch over us. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. You hold the angel, I'll go get the ladder. Ah, okay, here we go. Oh no. Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, just a little dizzy again. And your angel. Oh. oh, I'm fine, honey. I'm fine. And you know what? We'll we'll send her back to Granite Falls, and they can they can fix her right up. Sometimes angels need a little help too. I'm sorry. so fast. Oh, I feel like it's been a lifetime in the making. Permanent teaching position. You earned it. I just wish you didn't have to move to Springfield. Yeah, I know. But I have to go where the job is. And there aren't that many openings in Boston. And I have been waiting for this for so long. Yeah, you really have. No more substitute teaching for you. Right? My dream. I can, I can finally settle in and maybe find a house with a yard and a white picket fence. You know, all of it. Just like what you and Mark have. And how does Eric feel about that? Um, no, I just... Lauren. Yeah, we haven't talked about him yet. Because? Because he's in London and he's been so busy and really hard to get a hold of on the phone. Is this about what you were talking about before he left? Yeah, everyone knows how much I love children. I'm a teacher for heaven's sake. And Eric and I, we, we talked about this from the very beginning. And I thought that we were on the same page. I'm sorry you're going through this. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I always say when God closes a door. Somewhere he opens a window. And I think that window could be Springfield. Oh, dad letters. I didn't know I was coming home early. I didn't. Oh, sorry, I know I should have texted the second I got back, but I want to get a quick nap in. You know how I am with my jet lag. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's not. Look, I've been off the radar for the last three weeks. I'm really sorry about that. No, I get it. You had a big networking opportunity. I did. And I got a new job. <laughs> Come on in, I'll tell you about it. Uh, I can't. I have a cab waiting. I can't. Lauren, what's going on? I wrote you a letter. It's in the mailbox. Hold on, are you about to do something rash? I landed a full-time teaching position in Springfield. I shipped all my stuff there. I got a new apartment, and I start in January. Like that? That's rash. It's really not. Not if you've been paying attention. Gotta go. 
Wait, Lauren. Uh, I can drive you. The train is fine. Bye. Sorry, the train needs to make an unexpected stop. Oh, well, wait, we're stopping? Yes, there's an obstruction on the tracks up ahead. They're not sure how long it's going to take to clear, so we have to stop here tonight. Oh. Well, where's here? Grandin Falls. Another train to be along tomorrow to take you on to Springfield. Oh, wait, uh, where are we going to stay? The railroad will give you a voucher for this charming little inn they have here. I'm sure you'll love it. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, I need to get a ride into town. I'm sorry? Yo, a ride. I can't seem to get my rideshare apps to work. Yeah, oh, we don't have those here. So I'll just get a ride with you. Sure. My luggage is right there. Looks like I'm gonna need a cart. Oh, what's this? That's my truck. Well, actually, it's my grandfather's truck, but it looks so great, I decided to fix the engine. Put a new car no, 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 no. I, I meant you're not a cab driver. I'm sorry. You were under the sign. I thought. I got that. No, I'm not. Herb is our local cabbie. Uh, I'll just wait for Herb. You're going to be waiting a while. Herb's going to be having dinner around now, so he's in for the night. Yeah, I, I don't want to inconvenience you. Well, it's no inconvenience. I was done. Well, it's just. I, I don't know you. I'm Travis. Well, it's it's nice to meet you, but I still don't know you. Got it. Safety first. Hey, Farley, you vouch for me? Travis is a really good guy. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know him either. I, I'm sorry, I just, I can't. Travis, can I catch a ride into town with you? We had another delay, so I'm staying at my cousin's. Sure thing, Gary. Great, thanks. How's Dylan? Oh, he's staying out of trouble. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hello there, kitty. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, Sassy. Sorry about the delay, but you'll be on your way tomorrow. Good. Can't wait to get settled. Merry Christmas. And that is how Grandin Falls got our nickname, Christmas Town. Really? Oh, yes, we are very serious about our Christmas. If you get a chance, just check out the Christmas Festival. Last two weeks, there's a new event practically every day. There is ice skating, a dance, there's tree lighting, and then there is the Christmas Cafe. Hmm. Nice. It's a, it's a unique experience. Yeah, sounds fun. But I'm going to Springfield tomorrow. Where I'm moving. I got a new job. Congratulations. Thank you. Travis, Travis. You give away another coat, Dylan? I gave it to one of the kids from Rockland. I'm not even a little cold. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Why don't you head home, Kate? Dinner's in 20 minutes. Yes, sir. Beep, beep, coming through. 
Your son's adorable. He is, although Dylan's the boy I'm fostering. You're a foster parent? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Kid has a heart of gold. Some of the folks are staying around here temporarily. After a nearby fire destroyed a lot of homes in Rockland, well, Dylan <laughs> keeps giving away his coats to other kids. Says they need him more than he does. So, uh, what do you want to do with all these bags? Oh, the conductor mentioned an inn. Oh. Oh? All the families from Rockland that we've been hosting, well, they are being housed at that inn. You know, it's packed. Completely? There are no rooms at the inn. Well, that's thematically on point, but incredibly inconvenient. Oh, what am I gonna do? Why don't you come with me? I have an idea. I'm right in the middle of converting it into a spare room. Now, there's not much up there other than a bed and an old dresser and a, a bit of my stuff. I've been helping Rod renovate. It's, uh, it's not finished, but it's, it's warm. No, it, it's, it's great. I'll only be one night. I really appreciate it. And thank you for everything. Well, I'm happy to help. I better hurry back if I'm going to be Dylan Hunt. Mm -hmm. We'll see you, Trap. Oh, that's a lot of luggage. Oh, maybe we'll just leave those there. Well, up, up we go then. Oh, this is amazing. Well, I've always loved old things, especially the ones that uh, needed a little love. <laughs> you know, some people call it junk, but for me, the treasures just uh, need a little repair. This whole town is like stepping back in time. <laughs> well, it's Grandin Falls. It's the best place in the world. <laughs> Enjoy your stay, miss. If you need anything, just holler. I'll be uh, just downstairs with all the other antiques. Thank you. And I have more quilts, too, if you need them. better than a hotel, huh? Yeah, it is. Morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Christmas Cafe. Oh. Anything strike your fancy? Oh, well, just about everything. <laughs> well, try one of these. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. Well, I hope so. After 30 years, I better know how to bake them. Oh, no, no. It's on the house. It's how I lure in my new customers. Thank you. Oh, good morning, Karen. Hi, Betty. I'll take another dozen of those Christmas cookies, please. Are you okay? That's my dad. Really? Well, that photo must be 25 years old. Yeah, he was a traveling salesman. Oh, I knew it. I, I knew I'd heard of Grandin Falls before. Oh, he loved this town. In fact, he, he bought me that Christmas angel here. Oh, well, what was your dad's name? Maybe I met him. I doubt it. He, um, he passed away when I was six, just after Christmas. I'm sorry. That must make this time of year pretty hard for you. How about a nice cup of cocoa? 
Thank you. I like to think of the cafe as the heart of our community. There's a story behind every toy, every decoration, every photo. I wonder where he got it. Hmm? My dad, with the Christmas angel. We had sent it back after the wing broke. Well, try old Rod Loomis's shop. What's old is new? That's where I'm staying. No. Yeah, he cleared a space in the attic. Oh, well, you should ask him. He might be able to help you. Well, I'm... It's been so many years, I'm sure it's long gone. Well, you never know until you try. And Grandin Falls has a way of making miracles happen. You take marshmallows? Oh, lots. Hello there, Travis. Well, hello to you, Lauren of the luggage. <laughs> Took your advice. About? The Christmas cafe. I loved it. You have one of Betty's cookies? Does she ever let people leave without them? No, no, thankfully not. So you heading back to the station? Not yet. My train doesn't leave for a few more hours. And the weirdest thing, there's a photo of my dad in the cafe from like 25 years ago. Really? Yeah, crazy, right? Sounds like a little bit of fate brought you to Grand Falls. Hmm, maybe so. It was really great to meet you, Lauren. Nice to meet you too, Travis. Thanks for all your assistance. what I do? Ready for Springfield, Sassy? A Christmas angel with a broken wing. I know it's a long shot, but I think my dad mailed it back here to have it fixed, and, well, he wasn't able to follow up, but I still have the wing. It got separated somehow. And you've, you've kept it this whole time? I've kept it with all my dad's letters after he passed, so it's incredibly special to me. I understand. I feel like I've seen something like this recently. Really? Maybe. Unfortunately, I, I don't know where. But, but it could be here? Could be. Somewhere. My dear Lauren. The world can be a magical place. Always be open to the potential surprises it can offer, especially the ones that come when you least expect it. I so wish I could be there with you. Happy sweet 16. Love always. Dad. Brandon Falls. What a beautiful little town. Any luck? Oh, not yet. I think I'm gonna pause and uh, go get something to eat at Betty's. Her cookies are the best. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> oh, you're still here. All the other train folk left yesterday. Yeah, I decided to stay a couple extra days. You would. Excuse me. It's really busy today. Oh, hon, you can leave that. Oh, don't worry about it. Help your customers. I've done my fair share of waitressing. I'll just clean up a bit. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Oh, and the dishwasher's on the fix-it list, so we're just stacking them on the sink. You know you got a job here if you want it. Think of the perks, such as free cookies. 
Well, hello, Mr. Fixit. Hi, Betty. Lauren. Travis. You two know each other. We met the other day. So you're fixing the dishwasher? Uh, actually, the problem with this charming establishment is behind the walls. For the umpteenth time, Betty, you need new wiring, not a new dishwasher. It's such a big job. It's only going to get bigger if you don't deal with it now. Fine, fine. Wire away. Yeah, I will temp fix it for today and get the dishwasher back up. And I'll come by between my other jobs and bring the rest of this place up to speed. Thank you, Travis. Dylan, I would like to introduce you to Lauren... Gabriel. Miss Gabriel. And Lauren, this young man is Dylan. Hi. Hi, nice to formally meet you, Dylan. Travis said I could have a cookie while he works. Oh, well, you came to the right place. May I have a cookie for Dylan? Absolutely. Thank you. There's Liam. I'm going to go say hi. Liam and his mom are one of the families that lost their homes over in Rockland. So now Liam's in Dylan's class. He's a good kid. So, uh... Are you staying? Yeah, for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, well, I should, I'm gonna get started. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. I like this one. Good choice. You know, some folks still think it's strange that I sell these boxes to people without them even knowing what's inside. But that's the fun, taking a chance, finding hidden treasures. My sentiments exactly. I just have a feeling that Betty's going to love this one. Sure you're right. Have a great day, Rod. Okie doke. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm working. You're going to have to wait your turn. Even if I come bearing gifts? <gasps> oh. As much as I want to see what's inside, I can't. I'm the only one on. Uh, well, and Lauren. I mean, she's sort of recruited for the day. Nice to meet you. Gloria, this is my best friend and silent partner, though I'm seldom silent. That is true. <laughs> Gloria has been teaching at our local elementary school since, well, longer than anyone can remember, including me. <laughs> oh, I, I'm a teacher, too. I'll be starting Springfield Northern in January. Well, it's always nice to meet a fellow teacher. The world's most important profession, if I do say so myself. And I did. <laughs> hey, it's really calmed down. If you want me to watch the front while you take a break, I can. Oh, hon, you've already been too generous. Oh, no one's too generous. We'll just be a sec. Thank you. Come on, I want to see what's in here. OK, I guess I do too. <laughs> you boys look like you could each use another cookie. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <gasps> I'm Jill. This is Liam. Hi, I'm Lauren. Travis told me what happened in Rockland. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's, um, that's a lot to process. But God bless Grandin Falls for welcoming us. And Liam is joining our hockey team. Oh, Dylan, you're an angel. Mom. <laughs> Come on, Liam, let's go. See you at school. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Bye. Come on, Hi. bud. Are you missing your coat again? Did you give it to Liam? Was that wrong? It was kind. Which is never wrong. Those guys from Rockland, they need a lot more stuff. I wish I could find them a bunch of clothes. Because you know what it's like to lose everything, don't you? I do, too. You do? I was a foster kid, too. Like me? Just like you. Welcome to the club. <laughs> oh, oh, he's so cute. Look. Aw. Keeper. <sighs> what do you think? I think the 70s are calling that one back to them. <laughs> yeah, afraid so. Oh. Oh, she's almost pretty. Mm, except for the broken wing. Yeah, oh, that's too bad. Who is this little guy? Lauren has a cat. She put it on his collar. Mm. 
Okay, that's it. I think the rest of this has to go in the trash. Hmm. I wanted more. You always want more. <laughs> you paid five dollars for it. What were you expecting? Priceless treasures? <laughs> All right, well, thanks. I love you. I'll see you soon. All right, bye, honey. Bye. I don't want your money. It's only fair. And I really appreciate you helping me out today. I needed it. You know, the closer we get to Christmas, the busier it gets around here. And I'm having no bites on hiring anyone. Sure, you don't want to stay around a little longer. I mean, maybe this was meant to be. I have to get to Springfield eventually. Eventually. Think about it. Charity drive. Um, a, a what? What Dylan was talking about earlier. Wanting a bunch of coats for the Rockland families. We could have a charity drive and encourage people to donate a whole bunch of stuff, not just coats. Doing the most good. That's a great idea. Um, did you say we? Well, yeah. Of course, I would help. What happened to having to get back to Springfield? Well, my new position doesn't start until the new year. I want to stay here in, in Grandin Falls for a couple of weeks helping. I, I'm going to ask Mr. Loomis if I could stay a little while longer. Well, I'm sure Rod won't object to that. I will make sure he doesn't. And I could help you and work here while I'm in town. Well, I would love that. <laughs> we should uh, meet tomorrow and talk about it. That sounds good. Well, you were going to get the Christmas tree tomorrow while I'm at hockey practice. That is exactly right. I was. I am. Uh, maybe you can join me and we could talk while I cut it down. Oh, cut it down? No, well, it's in the woods. I find that's a good place to get trees. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not really an out-in-the-woods type person. I, I mean, I like trees. I, I, they're beautiful. Who doesn't? But I'm, I'm more of a stay in the cabin, sipping hot cocoa kind of girl, as opposed to walking in the woods. Hmm. Well, you could do it. I'll teach you. Have you always been Mr. Fixit? Uh, sort of. I got my degree in architectural engineering from Syracuse. Oh, wow. After five years at a firm in Boston, I realized that my favorite part is when I got to do the things that I envisioned for myself instead of hiring subcontractors. I always liked working with my hands. But what about you? Do you always love Boston? Oh, well, in a lot of ways I did. But I just ended a relationship and got a new job, which meant moving. That is the big three stressors right there. Yeah, well, I like to go for the hat trick. <sighs> this is really lovely, but it's, it's a long way to go for a Christmas tree. Well, it's sort of a family tradition. <laughs> yeah, I brought Dylan out here last summer. He just loved it. How long has Dylan been with you? Eight months. Is that when his parents? No, that was four years ago. Hmm. He's had a couple of foster families, but they all moved. 
There was one that came close to adopting them, the Conrads. But they wound up moving to North Carolina because of a job transfer. Dylan, he wants to stay here in Granite Falls. It's his home. He's been really hard on him. Yeah. I know how it feels. I remember what that was like. Did you... Did you grow up in foster care? I did. After my dad passed. For how long? The whole way. Wow. Oh. Tell me more about your ideas for the charity drive. Well, I was thinking we could put barrels out. And then people could donate everything. Shoes, toys, clothes. Oh, that's good. I mean, the uh, families from Rockland, they need lots of everything. And Salvation Army is going to deliver everything we collected on Christmas Day. So I was thinking, how about the name Restore Rockland for the charity drive? What about Repair Rockland? Hmm. Or Rebuild Rockland? Rebuild Rockland. Sold. Oh, yes. This is your house? Uh, well, I'm still painting and uh, doing some fixtures and a few other things. And Dylan and I have been living here while I've been working on it, so it's taking a little longer to finish. Previous owner, he got transferred to Florida, so he had to sell fast, and I just couldn't pass up the deal. White picket fence. Too cliche? No, it's... Oh, it needs to settle. Let the branches fan out before decorating it. Seems gigantic in here. Oh, don't worry. I brought my ladder, so you'll have no problem reaching the top. Me? Yes, you help cut it down. That means you have to help decorate it. It is the law. Oh, it's the law. Article 24, paragraph 2 in the Granite Falls Charter. Travis. You're going to have to trust me on this. Travis! Awesome! Now, does this meet with your approval? Of course. That's the tallest tree I've ever had. Are you going to help us decorate? Well, yeah, it's the law. Not only green when summer's here, but also winter's cold and dreary. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, oh. oh Christmas tree, oh, that leaves us so unchanging. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Oh, we get this stuff? Do us the honor. <sighs> oh, it's all yours. <laughs> Thanks. Go ahead. Oh, you need a ride? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, that candle shines so brightly. That candle shines so brightly. Great job. Brightly. Awesome. Yeah. That candle shines so brightly. That is one good looking star. Yeah. We're good at this. boys. Yeah, right there, so nobody can miss it. Ah, perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Also, can you take this out back for me? I'll see you later. I've got cookies in the oven.
Let me see. Broken. So is the house before you bought it, and you fixed it up. Isn't that what you do? Fix things? Maybe I could fix it. Okay, buddy. Dearest Lauren, happy 18th birthday. Soon it'll be time for you to graduate. You still have a few more weeks before you cross the stage and move into the next stage of your life. So take a moment to think about where you've been, where you are, and, and where, where you could, could be. And don't be afraid. Change is inevitable. Change is how we grow. Love always. Dad. Hi. Uh, hi. Yeah, no, I called yesterday and I just didn't leave a message. I read your letter so many times. And I... You just keep reading it. Lauren, I didn't want to disappoint you. That's why, that's why I never brought up the kid thing sooner. But eventually I had to tell you that things had changed for me. You know how I feel about you. And it's not like I don't ever want to have kids. I thought you admired my ambition. I do, but that's not the point. I know. I know. How about this? I know how crazy you are about letters. Why don't I write you one? Yeah, it sounds nice. Great. Uh, just text me your address in Springfield. I'm not in Springfield. You're not? Where are you? Grandin Falls. I took a little detour. Where? It's between Boston and Springfield. It's just for the holidays, so no need to worry. I'll text you the address. OK, great. Thank you. I'm looking forward to your letter. Lauren, hi. Uh, we heard about the charity drive. Dylan's been telling everyone about it. It means so much to us, all of us from Rockland. We are proud people, but we sure could use some help right now. Of course. So uh, what can we do? Hi. Hi, Lauren. Um, uh, can I have a cupcake? Sure. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. I'm Karen List, Dylan's caseworker. Oh, nice to meet you. He's been going on and on about you, and I just wanted to thank you for being so kind with him. He makes it really easy. <laughs> OK, Lauren. Then let there be light. Travis. Why do Betty and I get the feeling the cost of this job is going up every day? Because you are wise women with keen intuition. Well, I told Betty that maybe you and I could make a deal. A uh, maybe deal on what? In exchange for a discount on your excellent, although somewhat protracted wiring services, I could help you finish decorating your house. Oh, really? Really. OK, so uh, let's negotiate. Uh, Dylan and I were going to put up Christmas lights and can use your help. Is that included in the deal? Just your house? Just ours. Okay. Included in the deal. And... And? Wait, there's more? There is. You got to come with Dylan and I tonight to sing carols. Tonight is the first night of the Christmas festival. Oh. Right, the 12 days of Christmas. Exactly. Every night, uh, something else happens to bring the town together to celebrate Christmas. Because it's Christmas town. So, included in the deal? Silent night, holy night, always Sleep in 
just feels like... What? We're making the house happy. Christmas makes everyone happy. <laughs> Whoa! That's a look from down there. Awesome. Fantastic. You know, when I was your age, my dad said that Christmas lights were like landing lights for those people up in heaven. And they would look down at these lights every Christmas and they would know that their loved ones were okay. I like that. Time to finish my snowman. <laughs> so, are you coming ice skating with us tomorrow? Oh, I don't have any skates. Eh. That's a terrible excuse. You can rent them. Well, then I guess I'm going skating. You are. With us. You're gonna miss him when he gets adopted. Very much. But, uh, it's not about me. It's about him finding his forever family. That's what I want for him. And to be loved. Oh, he's loved. Yeah, that's obvious. Come on, come see my snowman. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that's the best snowman I've ever seen. Okay, we need a picture of this. The cap, too. Okay. Ready? Best smiles. to adopt me. Am I gonna lose you? Never. No matter what I promise. In your new life, you're gonna have the best time. But I'm gonna come visit. Can you please fix this? It won't light up. Sure. You still up for Lauren's surprise? It's a Christmas surprise. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, she's here. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it is really beautiful in here. You always wanted to own your own cafe. Never crossed my mind until my first day in this town. A very long time ago. <clears throat> I stopped by this cafe that morning, and I fell in love with it. And that night, I dreamt that it was mine. Next morning, there was a for sale sign in the window. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I dreamed of a Christmas and a big, beautiful home surrounded by family. <laughs> kind of like this. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> So how are the uh, donations coming along? Oh, they could be better. You need some nudging? Betty's a good nudge. We all have our talents. That would be wonderful. Well, you got it. Oh, boy. Time to open. One for the road. So this is day two of our Christmas festival. Tomorrow, it's tobogganing. But I'm working. Who's watching me? Oh, I can't. That'd be so helpful. Thank you. Night nine is a Christmas dance. Want to come with us? Oh, yes, I would be honored. Lauren, Lauren, watch me. Woo. Yeah, I taught him that. <laughs> I told him one day girls would think it was cool. Oh, did that work for you? Uh, you know, sure, until I would fall and they skated away. <laughs> so how many women have skated away? Only one that counted, Kayla. Kayla. It was a couple of years ago. Was it serious? Well, we were engaged. Oh, so very serious. Yeah, until she decided she wanted to live in Miami. She uh, couldn't stand the cold. Or at least that's what she said. 
and no one since then. I found that Grandin Falls is not for everyone. But once you do get it, it's not easily forgotten. See you tomorrow, guys. Mind. Rod, let us in. <laughs> and help us decorate. I hope you like it. Oh, I love it. My own tree. <laughs> we wanted to do something special for you. You've been so generous. You've been a real delight. Oh. And you deserved a good surprise. <gasps> a Christmas surprise. There they are. <laughs> what? Oh, I love surprises. Thank you so much. Well, you know how seriously we take our Christmas around here. And this empty attic needed some decorating. And a little holiday cheer. Oh, well, that's for sure. <laughs> Are there any snacks? I'm hungry. Well, wow. you betcha there's snacks. Say that like it's and hot chocolate. Seen through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, just making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing that sleighing song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle mm, bells. These might be my favorite show. Jingle Ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, sassy. Nothing is ever simple. Gloria. Hi. Enjoying your school break? Break? What break? Betty's put me to work. Now I'm bookkeeping. <laughs> well, I'm terrible at math, but I have cranberry muffin. So there are benefits. <laughs> you know, can I have a couple? I'm babysitting Dylan tonight. After all you've done for me, I will bag up the whole bunch for you. Now let's not be hasty. I don't know where she puts it. <laughs> so given any thought to our outfit for the Christmas day? Oh, I'm still weighing my options. Mm. And on that note, uh, I'm just curious, Gloria, do you know if there are any openings for teachers at your school? Uh, not often, but I'll check. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching me tonight. I had a lot of fun. Oh, me too. Maybe you could watch me again. When Travis has to work late? Yeah, I'd like that. Even when you're in Springfield? Oh, well, that's, that's kind of far for babysitting. Yeah. I wish you weren't leaving. I really like having you here. Oh. Well, I really like being here, too. So, what was it like for you when you were in foster care? Oh. Well, it, it was a lot of things. Mostly good, some challenges, but that's true for everyone growing up. Yeah. Did you ever have someone try to adopt you, but then stop? Twice. Are you thinking about the Conrads? I used to be sad they didn't adopt me, but now I'm glad. You are? Yeah. This way I get to be with Travis. And now you.
You know, my father wrote me letters while I was growing up, very special letters for each birthday. He found a way to have them delivered. And for my 10th birthday, when I was your age, he wrote, sometimes God closes doors for reasons we may never know. But where there's faith, there's hope. And we hang on to that hope. With hope, there's always another door that can open. Hope. Hope. Good night. Good night. Hi, God. Please, do anything you can. Keep Warren from going to Springfield. Is he okay? Yeah. He's just got a lot going on. Well, you do too. So, thanks for watching him. Yeah, we had fun. Wish I could have been here. Um, a really nice night. I think I'm gonna walk home. My dearest Lauren, I'm writing you this letter from Grandin Falls to be delivered to you on your 21st birthday. What a beautiful, amazing person you must be. All these years, you were never alone. I hope you know that. On this special day, let me share one of my favorite quotes. We are not here for ourselves. Karen, hi. Hi. I was hoping to talk to you. About? Dylan's future and mine. Sure. I've been Dylan's caseworker all along. I know he likes you, and I can tell that you're sincere about this. But I need you to understand there's no guarantee you'll be approved. I know how the process works, just from a different perspective. So you understand that, for now, we can't say anything to Dylan. I do. Or anyone else, really. It's a small community. We don't want to get anyone's hopes up, especially Dylan's. Not a word, promise. This afternoon, 4 p.m. sharp, the school. You have an interview. What? what to, today at, at 4? Really? That, that's like in an hour. Betty, let her off early. Lauren, you're off early. Don't be so bossy. So there's really an opening? There is. Wow, I, I don't know what to say. I do. Go in there and get the job. Yes. Okay, Gloria, thank you You're welcome. so much. <laughs> and put on a nice dress. Okay. They're gonna love you. Good luck, honey. Thanks. You did something, didn't you? I simply don't know what you're suggesting. So, I just got off the phone with your previous principal. He said he's sorry to lose you, but it seems like it's our gain. 
So if you pass the background check... Oh, I will. ...and you can start in January, looks like the job is yours. <laughs> really? <laughs> really. Your timing is perfect. My timing? Well, with Gloria announcing her early retirement. Oh. Wait, Gloria is retiring? Effective immediately. <laughs> Never thought I'd see this day. Ooh, I was in quite a pickle until she told me about you, and, well, here you are. Wait, Gloria told you about me specifically? For her class. She wanted someone she trusted to take over. Where is she? In the back, rolling dough. Why would she do this? Because it's time. <laughs> Gloria! I don't want to take your job. You're not taking my job. After 30 years, I've earned this. Besides, I need to be here to protect my investment. You bet you do. And I plan to travel. Only in the summer. Really? It's what I want. OK. OK. Yay. <laughs> I have to call all the Springfield people. I have to call the superintendent. Oh, I'll call the superintendent right after you and smooth things over. Don't worry. Robert and I go way back. You're amazing. True. <laughs> and we will help you find a place to live here. Well, the attic is nice, especially now. She is going to need an apartment or a house. You're right. You too. You feel like family because that's what we are here. Welcome to Grandin Falls. Oh. Sassy, I don't know why I am so nervous. It's just a dance. OK, maybe I do. Lauren. Come on up. Wow. Wow yourself. <clears throat> uh, Dylan's waiting in the truck. Shall we? We shall. Very good, but I have some moves. Oh, well, sure. I've got some moves too. Do you remember your parents? Oh, well, yeah, my dad, I do. My mom only in pictures. In my dreams, I still see mine. You would have liked them. They would have liked you. Okay, I have something to tell you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in Grandin Falls. Really? Uh-huh. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, I got a new, new teaching position, and I start here in January. I'm so glad. Can I tell Travis? Um, well, if it's okay, I'd like to tell him. Sure. I'm just glad you're staying. Yeah, me too. Is it okay if I get a cookie? Of course. I'll get one. May I have this dance? taught me to dance. She taught you well. 
How do you like your first Christmas in Granite Falls? Well, you all made me believe in the magic of Christmas. Thank you. You're welcome. And you are beaming. I am? All night. Actually, I, um, I made a big decision. A couple of them, but I just can't tell anyone yet. It's you, isn't it? Me? What do you mean? When somebody applies to adopt a child that I'm fostering, the county lets me know that they're opening a new file. But they don't tell me anything. But I'm aware of it. I got that call today. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah. You're adopted Dylan. going on? I don't know. You guys watch Dylan for a second? Of course. Yeah. Hey, Travis, what's going on? I am not allowed to talk about the adoption. If I were, I would have told you, of course. You must know the protocol. Yeah, I do. Well, then what is it? It's too soon. You've only known him for just two weeks. This is a big decision. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. More than most, which is why I would never do anything to risk hurting Dylan. I know that you are a good person with a kind heart. But I would hate for you to change your mind and for Dylan to end up getting hurt again. You know, Sometimes you meet someone and you don't have to know them for two weeks or a month to know that they belong in your life. And that's how I feel about Dylan. I'm not going into this lightly or easily. I know what it's like to be on Dylan's side of the equation, which is why I'm taking extra precaution not to get his hopes up. And I also know what it feels like when no one is willing to step forward for you. And if I can stop that from happening to Dylan, then I will. I didn't mean to... You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go. <sighs> Dear Lauren, happy 13th birthday. By now, you know that life is full of ups and downs. Don't ever let that stop you from leading with your heart. For it is always better to walk life's path with love and faith than to stand still in fear and inaction. You'll come to a new corner sooner than you think. I love you, honey. And I wish that I could be there with you. I must have entered it wrong. Good morning, ladies. The Salvation Army just picked up another truckload of donations. People are giving so much. It's great, don't you think? Sure, but the real question is... What happened last night? Happened? With Travis. You left after the two of you went outside. And didn't stay for the rest of the dance. Right. It's kind of a long story. Come bear and chocolate. And an apology. I never meant to imply that you weren't taking the idea of adopting Dylan seriously. We haven't known each other a long time, but I know you're not the type of person that would enter into something this important lightly. Thank you. And I realized later, that's not what made me upset. Well, then what was it? I'm just not ready to lose him. And I know that you're going to make a great home for him in Springfield. You're going to be a great mom. But I can't pretend to be happy about losing you both. No, Travis, 
I'm... I've been down this road before with Kayla. And... Hey, hey, I'm not Kayla. And I'm not moving to Springfield. You're not? No. So, um... You returning to Boston, or...? I'm staying in Grandin Falls. Well, what about teaching full-time? I mean, that's something that you always wanted. I'm taking over for Gloria. She's retiring early. She's gonna help Betty at the cafe and... and travel. So you're not going anywhere? No. I'm staying right here. You okay with that? I'm more than okay with that. Don't mind me. I'm just going to the store. I'm out of flour. No, I saw nothing. I saw nothing. Come on, hurry. We're gonna be late for the gingerbread challenge. <laughs> I'm moving as fast as I can. Whoa! Oh, okay, I'm, I'm all right. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. Hey, there. Oh. I, I got you. I'll get you up. <laughs> oh. Oh. So it, it's like oh. that, huh? So close. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Take that! Are you? Oh. Um, are you, Lauren? <gasps> Eric. Hi, Lauren. I, I, uh, I thought you were... Writing you a letter? Yeah. I tried. But no one writes a letter like you do, so... I figured I would come out here in person instead to say all I had to say. Ahem. <clears throat> oh. Um, sorry, sorry, Eric, this is Dylan. Hi, Dylan. I'm, I'm Eric Fitzgerald. Hi. And this is Travis Mabry. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Grand Falls. Um... Am I interrupting something? We were going to a gingerbread contest, but it's, it's no big deal. Me and Dylan, we can handle it ourselves. You sure? Yeah, completely. You guys probably got a lot to talk about. We do. So, are you and Travis, like... Sorry. Sorry, my bad. I just... I'd really like for us to get back together again, if that's even remotely possible. Well, we made plans. I thought we were on the same page. I know I hurt you by holding back. I was just... I was afraid that if I shared that my goals had shifted, I would lose you, and I did. Do you still have feelings for me? Yes. Which is why it makes this so hard. There's no one else I want to eventually start a family with. Eventually? Well, yeah, you're going to be teaching full-time. I'm starting a new job. Do you really think now's the time to have a baby? Yeah, there are things already in motion here that I, I can't talk about yet, but all I can say is this has nothing to do with having a baby. Okay, well, let's spend Christmas together, and you can tell me whatever that is. Lauren, I'm ready to change for you. I don't want you to change for me. I want you to be you. What about you? I mean, is this place really you? Yeah, it is. I found something here that I've always been wanting to experience. A family. I'm not going to Springfield. I start a teaching position here in January. That's a lot of change to go through. But if you'll let me, I'd like to go through that with you. Please, just at least give us a chance. Don't we deserve that? Hey, Dylan. You okay? That's her boyfriend, right? I think at uh, some point he was. Is he now? <sighs> mm, I don't know. Can't you 
fix it. You have to fix it. Oh, buddy. Um... There are some things that I can't fix. It's late. Why don't you get some sleep? Hi, God. It's me again. Coria, Betty. This is Eric. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Welcome to the Christmas Cafe. Thanks. What a cool place. Come here, I want to show you something. This is my dad. Wow. Hey, is that the Christmas angel he gave you, the one that broke? Mm-hmm. Huh. He got it here. Wow. Oh. You and Grandma Falls sure have a history. Mm. Hey, I'm gonna get some coffee. Would you like some? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm done here, Betty. Shouldn't have any more problems. Oh, thank you, Travis. What do I owe you? Nothing. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, you... Oh, bless your heart. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I didn't plan on any of this. I know. Things happen. Karen, hi. Hi, Lauren. I'm calling about the adoption. Well, hi, honey. You coming to the tree lighting tonight? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll meet you there, though. There's something I have to do first. Well, I'll save you a spot. Toodaloo. See you there. Thanks for meeting me. And for coming all the way to Grandin Falls. I really do appreciate it. Can I... I Go first. I reread your letter last night, and you're right. And as much as I love you, and I do, I really do. But ultimately, our lives are taking us in different directions. And mine's leading me to Manhattan. And while yours... I just let you here. You're gonna stay, aren't you? I am. I just got some news that... Let's just say it... It clarified a lot of things for me. Like... I'm home.
Where's Eric? He left. And, uh, are you going with him? My place is here. And I got a call from Karen. And because of the holidays and Dylan's age, she got a quick decision. They approved my application for adoption. Oh, Lord. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. As soon as I knew, you were the first person I wanted to tell. All I wanted to do was find you. I am right here. And I'm not going anywhere. Neither am I. You made it. I wouldn't miss it. Or you. Hello, Brandon Falls and all our friends from Rockland. Hi! What a beautiful Christmas Eve, yes? Yes! That's the spirit. This year, we're inviting one of our newest townsfolk to do the honors, should she be amenable to that. Lauren, if you will, please. <laughs> yes. Let's give her a hand, would you? <laughs> oh, thank you. What an honor. Thank you so much. Well, I'd like to take this moment to share that our campaign to help the families of Rockland has not only reached, but exceeded our goal. So a very big, big thank you to Salvation Army. We couldn't have done this without you. And to everyone that's from Rockland, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. And let's hear it for Dylan Hart. He was the inspiration that started all of this. It's that kind of goodness and kindness that represents the very best of the Christmas spirit. So thank you, Dylan. Now, are we all ready for the big moment? Yeah! Ready, miss? Okay, let's do this in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Dylan. Um, we'd like to talk to you about an adoption. Is it the Conrads? No, it isn't, buddy. Actually, Lauren has something she wants to say to you. Dylan, if it's okay with you, I'd like to adopt you. I would like us to be a family. Really? Really? <laughs> Only if it's okay with you. It's okay. It's more than okay. Um, but what about Travis? I'd like to be a part of this family, too. Oh, I want to give you something. All along, I have been designing the perfect home for the perfect Christmas and the perfect moment. I want to give you this. I love it, and I hope you will too. Here. This is 
the exact angel I've been looking for. Really? But it's missing a wing. It's true, but... Some angels just need a little bit of help. Look. 